All right, by my watch, it is 6 p.m. I'd like to call the meeting to order for the Woodbury Select Board, Monday, the 17th, 2023. So moved. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any adjustments to the Select Board agenda at this point? I've got a couple things. All right. We've got an application for an emergency management director that we should act on right away. And also there's a request from um, Nichols Dam Road flood related. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you had a chance to read all your emails yet. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, it was a litany. You're right. So we will address those after we do public comment. Okay. Any other adjustments to the select board agenda as published? No. Okay. Uh, we've approved some bills and paper orders. The rest will be approved immediately following the meeting. The minutes from the June 26th meeting. Okay have not been reviewed we will review those and sign those immediately following the meeting if not during so we're now open for public comment if you would be willing to raise your hand and state your name sir our graves on sand hill road in woodbury of course, I'd be a, a louse if I didn't add my voice to the chorus of praise for everybody in the town structure. Uh, I'm, I've been watching the work at Mark's place, and I marvel at what's happened, and, and, and many, many, many other things. And also, please, you don't have to put on rubber boots to be serving. And I'm very conscious of what everybody can do. Um, I would like to raise an issue which is which I could relate to the current problem, but I, uh, but I won't, because I won't insult your intelligence. I think you can see the connection when I bring up something that has been a running sore in the community for at least two years. And that is the Walker property on Sand Hill Road, which has gone from being uh, Ill illegal from the point of view of health and safety code, uh, ugly from the point of view of aesthetics, dangerous uh, from the point of view of sanitation or lack thereof and now it's becoming a an automobile graveyard i went by there today and i see a, a couple of uh, hoods stacked up in the backyard along with a variety of non-functioning appliances vehicles etc etc and this in a property where the residents have no they have no sanitary facilities the sanitary facility is the ditch bank which has been of course mm -hmm. flushed out lately by 10 inches of rain, but I don't think that's the way we want to do it. I've had this discussion with a variety of people, all of whom are well-intentioned, but all of whom say nothing can be done. It's not true, never say never. And I am, the last discussion I had, I think was with Bob Martin, I wish he were here. And I like Bob and I trust him. But he said, well, the city will just break, the town will just rack up legal bills going to, going to court to do something that will, where nothing will happen. I am not made of money. Half the people in this room know me very well and know that I'm not made of money. I am willing, out of my pocket, to pick up maybe seven or eight hours of billable time for an attorney to move this thing along out of the let George do it mode into something meaningful. This cannot go on. And this is, and this is without even raising the issue of some of the other things that happen on that property, which are more appropriately addressed through law enforcement. But. Uh, Everybody on East, well, I won't say everybody, great numbers of people on uh, Bliss Road, Sand Hill Road, East Hill Road know what a running sore this is, and something's got to be done. This, as I say, this has been going, I've had this conversation in one form or another with people from the town for at least two years. The irony is, as I was coming up here to this meeting, I saw Sand Hill Road right in front of the place being repaired by a good neighbor who's tired of seeing all his neighbors you know, getting their cars out of alignment and get, getting their bumpers cracked. 
which is great because it's going to facilitate the drug dealing out of the truck. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's not, you know, my neighbor knows all about it, but he's seeing a bigger picture. I'm seeing a, a bigger picture that seems to have no end. And I, as I say, I will, if, it's, if the town is worried about legal fees, I'll, I'll pay eight hours of billable time for an attorney to take that clown in, or it's one property owner, into the appropriate jurisdiction and get something done. There, there's a, there's a, a legal, a health, an, an aesthetic, an environmental uh, issue, a complex of I issues, and they are not fixing it. George will not do it. George is not here. We have to do it. Yes, Lizzie. Goddard, I don't know exactly where you're talking about. Is it the place on the corner? Not oh. the place on the exact corner. There's a, oh. that's, that's a triangular plot. Yep. Uh, that's that's actually Walter Daly's trying to sell that, which right now would be like trying to sell you know, a 55-gallon mm. drum full of toxic waste. Uh, mm. And these folks next to him are basically taking money out of his pocket as he's trying to sell it. I'm not. I have no involvement in that transaction. Mm -hmm. But as you come up, Lizzie, on the Sand Hill Road proper, from that triangle, where the, which, used to, which, which is still Daly's, yep. then there's a little tiny trapezoidal piece of mm -hmm. ground, most of which actually is, is a marsh. And so when they moved in, they got a load of gravel and then put in a shack and, and uh, Honest to God, it looks like Gates or Bolduck on a, on a filter through your worst nightmare. So we're talking coming from Bliss Road, going on to Sand Hill Road. Yes, down toward Fort, South. yeah, okay. toward, toward my place, toward okay. 14. It's, it. It, is, it is fairly celebrated. It is re, it's celebrated in the sense that people in the area, we, there's a rich variety of de descriptions for it, all of which are colorful, but all of which are inadequate. Mm. And how many people do you think live there? I think permanently one, but there's mm -hmm. a steady procession of people in and out. Mm -hmm. we, we have some pretty good prima facie evidence mm -hmm. of prostitution and drug trading. And I, I know people don't want to talk about this and nobody wants to knock on the door and I don't want to get shot either. But if it, or if it came down to the, the town serving papers on, on Mr. Walker and you have to pay the sheriff service fee, I will pay the GD fee. But we have this, this has been brought into highly relief by the storm because all the garbage they're accumulating and human waste, we now, it's, we now all now get to share that. Fair and end of rant. Mm. Come by and look if you don't know. Nope, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, I public comment. Um, yeah, Jake. Jake. Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Jake Chaddock. Uh, I live across from the fire department, and the my house. Yellow house. Yeah, <laughs> it's the one that's got that huge rock collection that was scattered <laughs> all over my yard and down my driveway. Should contain it, but uh, so mm. I, and, and and it's quite clear looking at the place uh, that it's in dire need of, of work, mm -hmm. and so I don't expect. Uh, I, first, I want to echo what he was saying about the town because when I. You know, this, I've been here for three and a half years, and I absolutely love this town, and everyone's come by, and uh, I do, I, you know, and, but in this emergency, you know, all of a sudden there's like all this food, and I wasn't expecting that. I was just coming over to work on my house, and I can't thank this town enough for what, seeing all the, all the uh, uh, people reaching out to their neighbors and helping out, and certainly have helped me, and they were digging out that uh, the brook, and it was great to see. Uh, but uh, I guess, you know, my basement is still currently, oh, I, I empty the basement out and it currently just fills right back up. It's about five feet. And I can get it down into, onto the floor of the basement and so forth, but the next day it's up to four and a half, five feet. I, I can't move forward with anything. I have people lined up, uh, <clears throat> an electrician, uh, plumbers, everything uh, going in there, but they saying the same thing, the water level's got to go down. Uh, and I, you know, uh, talked to Diana, but uh, earlier today, it's a clear visual of what has happened. The, the, the water fell up high. There's a gajillion rocks still left in the brook. And I'm just, I just, I, I, I don't expect it to be done overnight, but I guess I would kind of like to have some type of maybe uh, timeline of anything that's uh, going forward with 
that uh, particular area because again, I cannot, there's no power, there's nothing there obviously. Uh, the longer it sits there, it's obviously the mold issues and yeah. the house isn't smelling all that great. Uh, so um, I would just, I just want to let you know that that's what's going on at my particular place. And again, as a new knock to this town, I, I love it. I don't want to have to move if I don't have to. Uh, it's, it's been great there. Um, but that's, that's where we are right now. Yeah, the, the problem is the brook filled up with all kinds of gravel. Debris. Yeah, so yeah we have a lot feet. of debris in the brook. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So yeah, well, Jake was asking today in an email when I followed up, whether the town could dig out the brook some more, but I, I thought maybe as a geologist you have a better idea of whether that could possibly work or whether the oh, same amount down of down to where it was before. We can we can find a way to dig it down. Mm -hmm. They did it after Irene. They dug that. Brook. And yeah. but unfortunately, that is a temporary solution. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. going to be enough to, but. But the there's reality is, there anyway, there's, so there, it's, so we can only go down so far. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. But so, but if we yeah. so we can clear that, mm -hmm. that'll help us dry things for yeah. you. Mm -hmm. um, the long-term solution is much more complicated than that, mm -hmm. I'm afraid, yeah. because then we have to worry. Well, we have some culvert issues, obviously. Yeah. Right. They go across the road. We've been dealing with those for well before I was on the select board mm -hmm. for actually routing. That stream system. Oh, rerouting it. Rerouting it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be. Well, it would be pretty nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. It would be a big um, project. It would be a big project. Mm -hmm. um, but this. Oh. But what we can do, yeah. in the short term, yeah. is we can clear those. We can, we can dig it out and clear them. Mm -hmm. Let it flush. That should be able to dry out your lower structure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and uh, then. Mm. We've got some other issues that we have to deal with. Sure. But at least we'll have a short term solution. Uh, that's the that's the best we can offer like at this moment. Right there. Um, I think that we can make that work. Because mm -hmm. um, you can get the water levels down. We can get so the water can, levels down yeah. so that we can put like some pumps in. Yeah. Make sure that it stays dry. Good. Get it dry. It stays dry. The bottom where I have it in the house is long, I mean it's still going to come through. I, it's I gonna, that, it's, but if it can keep up with what's coming in there. I don't worry about that. Okay. But I can't mm -hmm. can't do anything in. in Hours when it's up I understand. Yeah. So I think that our first first attempt is to clear it, mm -hmm. let it flush, and then try to move on to you know bigger picture issues. So you would. And take I think that we can we can do that within the next week. Okay. I don't think that we can do it in the next day. Okay. Yeah, and I but don't expect it to be done overnight. In, do in, in the next week or so, I think that we can find a mechanism to to get that clear. Okay. And that might help properties that are immediately downstream of you all as well. Mm -hmm. It you know, also help out the post office. It will. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was that was something that we were trying to to make work. Mm -hmm. We're going to still try to make it work. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the immediate solution. In terms of all the material that's up in the side yard there, we're going to have mm -hmm. to pull that back. I'm not so sure how we're going to move that stuff around. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we can actually take advantage of it. Oh, yeah. Use it. <laughs> we can use it. Uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the fire station wouldn't mind us, you know, moving some material over onto the other side. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I can offer at the moment. But um, I, I'm... I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah, and I appreciate it. No, no, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, that's, I, you know, I'm happy to hear that. Then six months down the road, and my house is past due. No, we we uh, so we're, we're not going to let it go. Um, we just right. we want to get. I mean, we need to get that clear. I mean, uh, to be honest, we want to get it clear for your house. <laughs> We also want to get it clear for the road yeah. Yeah. because the next time it floods, mm -hmm. which could at this point be yeah. days from now, yeah. right? Because yeah. we're still pretty uh, pretty saturated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is the town's um, bucket, what, what do you want, like an excavator big enough to go over there? We can, we can do it with, yeah. town, with town gear. Mm -hmm. we, have a, we, we, have a, we have a rental, uh, rental materials as well, so we have a rental that we've been using up at um, at the Swenson Quarry. We're we'll bringing material down. Mm -hmm. We can always bring that down as well. Mm -hmm. um, I will talk with Alfred and try to put a time frame on it. 
I don't have one right this second, mm -hmm. but within the week, I think we can make something work. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. That's my best. That that's no. my best I can do. I'm sorry that I can't give you something you specific. Let me go get his phone number. So if you want to call him, or yeah, please. Him it's eight zero two zero two seven three four zero two zero. He's giving you his zero yep. one. Zero two zero seven. Zero two seven three four. Yep. Zero two zero seven. Yep. Feel free anybody call. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's on TV now. <laughs> <laughs> hope you like hope you like mail order stuff. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, mine's already published, yeah. so you can get in touch with me anytime you want to. So. <laughs> that's right. He's um, more sparse. Mm. So that's that's uh and I appreciate it. Thank you for being patient yeah. with us. Yeah, okay. Totally totally thank you. Yeah. All right, yeah. Brian, thank you. And thank you. We're able to, I sent Paul an email to see if they could get that pump over to you again. Did you? How's your pump situation? I mean, if it's, not, if it's more than six inches, we can't really pump with our pump. If it's a lot more? If it's less than oh, six well, inches. Oh, no. No, no. no. It's, it's, it, every morning it's, it's five feet. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, what I think we can do then is we'll just leave it over there with you. You might okay. have to get gas for it. No, I have gas. I have, okay. I have everything. Are you headed back down? They're at the station after a call right now. So if you could ask him, just tell him I'm authorized to go ahead and leave the pump and over there. I, I could I could put it in Shiny's garage there. Yeah, just wherever it doesn't get that. I don't know if I can get it because I, I got to go to Dorset tomorrow. So I'm not going to be here. <laughs> so, so it's at the station now? Yeah, there's guys at the station right now. So oh. just stop in and tell them to get this that pump. It's up in the truck. Okay. All right, on the trail. I really appreciate it. No worries. Yep. All right, thank you, everyone. All right, yeah, we're working thank on you. Mm -hmm. Of course, now my truck won't start. So oh, no, that's no, no. <laughs> Just push it down. Please. All right, thanks again. Really right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I'm here with the elevator to land the helicopter. Hell, school. Now I'm covered with that. I am. Paul. You look pretty good, Paul. Paul, have you that. looked at the post office today? I have not. I was just um, wondering how much I'll water go, came up in there I'll because the federal, the Postal, Postal inspector. inspector's supposed yeah. to be coming tomorrow and at show 11. them that green card because the state inspectors were here yesterday yep. and put a green card on it. So according to the state fire marshal's office, your building is perfectly capable to be used. Okay. So if they want to argue otherwise, the powers that be have said it's got the green card. Okay. How's the basement? Hmm? How's the basement? At the town office? That's what she's asking. Oh. Yeah, I'll look at it when no, I, I was when at the I post office with Paul. Yeah, I haven't no, looked at it the today. Basement. Yeah, the one at the town hall, at uh, the town office, no more water has come in there. Okay. okay. Mm. We'll check the post office. Check the post office. And there's a chance I'm going to be able to get a an, an industrial dehumidifier Wednesday. For the town office. Sounds great. Yeah, it's time. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to purchase some extension cords. <laughs> Yeah. Heavy duty stuff. I had to yes. borrow extension cords and I'm not there. We're going to have to stop. <laughs> so it's good cords plug. I already had one fire in the town caused by cords, so Ooh. be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep an eye on where they're not in water yeah. and stuff. We try any equipment. All right, so we've gone off track a little bit. Um, we're still open for public comment, please. Sir. Uh, Mark, Mark Curran, I just want to again thank you. Thank you for Dave and Greg coming out to East Hill and mm -hmm. building the load. And so you can get out you now? Yes. But you still brought him? No, I was I was the laboratory rat. I was the first contestant. And I'm still here. Great. Not okay. Good Everything's good. Yeah. Good to hear. And how many okay, well we'll get to that. Any other public comment? Um, it's not part of public comment, but as a just a townsperson, I'd like to say that the work that people came out and did to gut the fire station, work on the town hall, and the post office, and the post office, mm. yep, is greatly appreciated. Mm. So everybody who came out can't tell you how much. Stop point. Now it's weird. Yep. Can't tell you how much I appreciate all that work. And if anybody picked up tools that wasn't theirs on Saturday, they can drop them off at the town office and we'll try to get them back to whoever they belong to. It was like a tornado. You saw it, so stuff was going everywhere, yep. so I can't promise. Mm -hmm. there. Okay. In particular, there's a Makita drill floating around out there that... Oh, is it yours? No, it's not mine, okay. but it didn't blue. make it out to its oh. owner. So there, is it blue? Mm. What color is it? Like teal color, teal yeah. Teal color, okay. Makita drill. Okay, yeah. a drill or a drill driver? I don't know if 
it's a drill okay, or driver. I'll, he called it a drill. Okay. It could be either. I'll keep an eye out for it now that I know. <laughs> okay. Thank you all. So thank you. Any other public comment before we move on? Ms. Brandy, may we please have the, um, oh, excuse me, uh, Ms. Durkee, may we please have the town clerk's report? Well, basically what we have is the flood. And I've got the office closed this week to any public coming in. When we're there, the door is locked, so they have to, if they think they need to come in, they have to knock. And I also have the message changed on the phone telling them that the office is closed. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ms. Turkey. Anything that we need to do at the town office as general work this week? This week? At some point in time, we're going to have to get that pipe replaced yes, where the water was coming in. Right. That's a pipe so, from where? Have you looked at that at all? Pipe. I'm sorry. I don't know. All right, so Mr. Larrabee has looked at that. Something that we could potentially address? Uh, yeah. Just, or should uh, we be hiring out for that? I can probably squeeze some time. No, I don't. I mean, that's not what I was asking. I mean, it, it's, Watch your it's sort opinion. of tricky because, because it's right where it comes out of the concrete, and then it goes to an elbow. Yep. And it's all solid pipe, so it's... it's it's going to be a little bit tricky to, to, to change so it that out. it seems like we need to hire. What is it? Hire out. Okay. I mean, we might be able to attack it. You know, that's, not, that's not what I want. But. I, want to, I, I would like to fix it. Okay. All right. So. Um, and then and that being said, I want the sub pump permanently put into the ground. And we because found some things when bank. we pulled out that sub floor. Yeah. There are some places where we could put. But is it? It's off onto the the other side. It's not in where the. It it's down. not where I scooped a lot of poop out. No, it's it's yeah. not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that. I danced. I'm sure. But what? I know. You're so you and I are hanging out together, <laughs> hanging out in poop. Um, so what we need to do is try to identify a, a contractor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy to try, but I if you all have the time down. to mm -hmm. make a few calls. Yep. I feel like that would be a pertinent thing to, to work on. Yeah, and I had somebody suggest that we talk to Matt Clark. Mm. What is it, all about basements or everything basement-y or something? Yep. To have him come up and see what he suggests. The irony is he's probably flooded out. You know where he is. Yep, he's no, underwater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you don't want to know this, let's, uh, let's, let, let's, if you're willing to, Miss Brandy, yep. I'd appreciate that. And she was going to also sure. have the same guy look at the concrete in the front room that's all kind of crusty, she said, once they took the plywood up for some kind of eventual finish. I think the, same guy the, the most important... The floor. Yeah, I know it's not yeah. the most The most important part it. right now is, is, to, is to get in the pipe fixed mm -hmm. so that we can actually set up a system to keep the basement as dry as we possibly mm -hmm. can. Yeah. And it's really not about the basement at this point, it's about the rest mm -hmm. of the structure. Mm -hmm. Dry basement. Mm -hmm. Right. Dry town hall. Dry town office. That's where we're going for. Let's start with that. Yep. So if you all are willing to make some calls, mm -hmm. we'll try to find the money for it. Sound reasonable? Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Turkey. Um, may I have the town treasurer's report, Ms. Brandy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Start. We're broke. We spent all the money. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, so we didn't. So it's been a while since we've had our last meeting. Um, <laughs> I might as well throw the bad news in first. So general fund um, balance as of July one, we had a balance of eighty three thousand. $874.32 in the general fund. Highway, as of July 1, negative $31,240.43. Would you repeat that, please? For the highway fund, negative $31,240.43. Okay. So, as of July 1, um, as you went through bills, um, there was a bunch due. 
Um, so currently for the general fund, we are negative $38,905.15. With our fund accounting, we are borrowing against the other funds. Um, so getting into the nit and gritty, here are um, your balance sheets, please, and thank you, Robin. This is going Elfie, to <coughs> Lizzie, and Diana. Yep, and Chris is underneath here. No, Chris is over there. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So if you can okay. shoot Alfie's over to him. Um, thank you. I need to be more making sure he's got one for the highway. Agree. <laughs> Sorry, Alfie. Thanks, sir. So we went from $83,000 positive on July 1 to 39000 negative on July oh, yeah. wow. Uh -huh. well, that happens. So um, <laughs> over the last four weeks, um, cash receipts took in $3,125.60. Delinquencies, $930. I transferred 97000 from the money market over into checking. We had two state uh, direct deposits. One was for class two and three roads in the amount of $18,507.07. Okay. The other one is for property tax adjustments for the current uh, tax revenue year of $19,234.09. Uh, payroll, $22,244.83. Accounts payable, $83,000. $440.80. So uh, today I put in a claim for the town office through VLCT. Hmm. Um, and I had also printed out. So, uh, so the fire department and the town office. Did you office. get a copy of ours? I did. Okay. Yep. So both of the, if you want to see them. I took photos of the basement. I applied them um, to the attachment. Um, then we received, um, I received an email tonight from Keith saying that we have until August 12th to declare or register um, as part of that FEMA to create, and the second page is just a screenshot of it, we have to create an account. Um, and yeah, I haven't even, I haven't got that far yet. Um, they also submitted forms that um, that um, start the whole all 64 roads, and I don't even know if that list is accurate because it's an old list. Um, and then applying photos from Alfie and descriptions and work. And there's so a lot of people. There's a lot. So all those forms are going to be each individual road, what the materials we use, the photos. Um, so if VLCT pays our claim, does that mean we don't submit it to FEMA or? We submit it everywhere. So the way this works is you're required to submit to your insurance company first. Yeah. Once I believe once they don't cover, you're eligible for FEMA funding. Some of the emergency response stuff we're doing is beyond that. Mm -hmm. But I believe if the insurance company covers the damage that you don't get FEMA money for it. Mm. Correct. Other than unless you apply for something for mitigation, you know, stopping up. But I can't think of anything mm -hmm. that off the arms. Just mm -hmm. some, if you had a bank that kept washing out or something at the townhouses, that they would go after that, but that'd be later. So passive, so I don't know what FEMA's going to even. Yeah. So passive is going to give us a percentage, is what I was told. Oh. Basically, they got to get all their losses calculated mm -hmm. since it's a pool. Oh. And I was told that once an adjuster comes, at some point we'd, they'd let us know full or partial. Mm -hmm. and again, that's where this FEMA money comes in. That, one would hope, and I think they will cover Rest, yeah. cover the losses. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all of our bigger problems is actually finding a contractor to do some of this work. It'd be a much bigger mm -hmm. problem. I think that's particularly us. We're in crisis state. And mm -hmm. Get people back inside by winter, winter. but we'll see. Yeah. How it goes. Um, so we'll say that uh, Jonah, who was here, I don't think he's had to, had to leave. Had to leave. He might be back. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Jonah Meacham has been willing to be a clearinghouse for us for all issues in town. He set up a Google form, which we're going to take a look at. I'm going to pass it around the select board. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass it through you all as well, um, where people can put issues down. And then it becomes basically 
an archival record. Mm. And that is something that <coughs> we would like to see. Yeah, and we'll also need to get that because the, the SEOC is calling me every day. I know, and I'm sorry for that. No, 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 that's okay. I'm it's, willing to do it till we get it figured out. But yeah. there's one, they file these called 211 reports, and I've right. got one, and I'll forward mm -hmm. it to you. Once I get ready to do it, some mm -hmm. encrypted thing, but yep. um, when someone files a report, so that we'll get that information. Okay. I, I'll keep it until the new person. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so Jonas will right. yeah. do that. He's set up something that people can have accessible. I think <coughs> that uh, we can put it up once we see it and sort of review it, um, Skip will put it up on the town website, we'll publicize it, and yeah. then at least mm -hmm. there's like a, a clearinghouse. Oh, so he's not, I was hoping you were going to say he was volunteering to do all our FEMA paperwork. Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> That's still on us. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Right. That's going to be on us. Yeah, well. But there is at least um, a, a way to collect the information, mm -hmm. which is great. So I'll pass that around. Hopefully that'll be live within the next couple of days. Mm. And anything goes up there. So this is any the, issues that you all have had with your property, with adjacent access to your property. Doesn't matter if the if the road crew fixed it. Mm. Doesn't matter. Mm. You know, put it up on this thing, and we're gonna put it out there. How does that work with the 211? People still have to call 211? Yes. Everybody has to call 211. This is just for This our is record. just for our records. They're going to pass it back through. They're going to gonna pass it back through to stuff. us. But it's multiple for, lists you want to be on cuz everything gets graded and rated by what's happening. But this Stress. is residential stuff you're talking about, right? For I would say people? I would say people? that it should be associated with anything that is even nearby to your residential access. Yeah. The, the things they're really interested, like we, we're probably going to have people that need to get a, to a medical appointment that might not be able to get there or they can't get their medicine for some reason. So that's the important stuff that they really want to know. They would like to know. If somebody's mm -hmm. shut in and their road's so bad they can't walk for it, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Yeah. Okay. Miss Brandy, anything else that you'd like to bring up? I'm sure we'll get there. Uh, Mr. Larrabee, <laughs> would you give us an update on the road, sir? Mm -hmm. Great, everything's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, far from perfect, um, but we are working. We are working on uh, the East Hill today, putting a lot of drip wrap in the bottom of those very deep ditches. Uh, seems like that's the first thing to do, and then we can go and put the smaller stuff on the top. Uh, I've still got one culvert that is not, not, it's not allowing the road to be open for Blake Hill. It's okay. sort of low priority right now because it's not trapping anybody. Um, I did get some really good uh, headway on bridges today. I'm awesome. dying to share it with you. Yes. Please. Um, I've got access to three temporary bridges. Wow. And mm -hmm. They don't cost us a nickel. <laughs> Good gracious me. We gotta we gotta put them in. We gotta install them. Wow. Mm -hmm. And fetch them. And fetch them. Yeah. Yeah. Go get them. <laughs> Where are they? New York. Nope. That's from our lovely state of Vermont. Forest and Parks. Right? Forest, Forest and Parks. Yeah. And they're long enough okay. for. They're, wow. They're not for temporary, yes. They're nothing yeah. that we can leave for any length of time. But, but they're for a vehicle. For, yes. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, one of them is a 30 foot, which I'm thinking for. Uh, Carol. Think. Dan Jarnas. Dan, Dan Jarnas. Jarnas. Yeah. Yeah. Carol. Because yeah. that's a wider. Yeah, that's a big, that is a big, mm. big gap. Uh, oh. Yeah. So I'm thinking of putting that one there. And then the other ones are shorter. So. Put one at your house, and I would put one at Carol's house. Lovely. So it's going to take a little bit of work. It's not, you know, it's it's not an easy thing because you got to make sort of make a flat spot for the bridge to set on to. Mm. Um, and then, but it's it's the cheapest way that I can think of, and it buys us time to do 
whatever, engineering or whatnot yep. we decide to do. Uh, one of the questions that I have is, do we put a bridge in for Jarnuses or do we take the time and bring that culvert back up and put it in? I would say no. No to, to the, the culvert? culvert? No to the culvert. I think that there has to be a longer term solution to that. This is not the first time mm -hmm. we've had an issue there. Okay. Or at least till FEMA looks at it. At least till FEMA looks at it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would like temporary access, but I don't see the reason that culvert has failed over and over. Yeah. It's really yeah. just not, it's not a long term solution. And it looks like both of those are going to have to be mitigation projects. Have to be projects, mitigation so longer term. Road, long I agree. Culverts, I'm guessing, they have to be longer term that. mitigation projects. If we can have some sort of structure in there yeah. so that it's reasonably accessible. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, we can well, start my, to actually pull that together. Push for that is that is, is the fellow that was there's health condition. He, yeah. I agree. You know that's. I want the temporary access in there. Is it, yeah, me. that should be our highest possible priority. Yeah. yeah. So to that's Mr. Why the, the temporary bridge is very attractive for that because mm -hmm. it's. And I agree. A little bit of escalation. Well, I, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I think I that think that, great that is yeah. I, that's critical access. So mm -hmm. let's make sure that happens as fast as we. We can make it happen. Yeah. That would be ideal. Yeah. How long can these temporary bridges be used for? Do you know? Uh, they were trying to get that out of me. Okay. I couldn't really, <laughs> tell, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't really <laughs> tell them because I don't know. It depends on how long, you know, one, how long FEMA takes, mm -hmm. what kind of engineering it takes to put the permanent mm -hmm. structure right. in. Mm -hmm. um, but I think with these bridges, they're, once they let them out, they're, they're theirs. I mean, they're, they're the whoever the occupant that is renting them. Right. Yeah. Typically, they're rented. Typically, the the state rents them to like loggers or homeowners mm -hmm. that are logging and running mm -hmm. through the brooks. Mm -hmm. They're trying to prevent that, so that's why they have these bridges. Right. Mm -hmm. But because of the situation that we're all in, they're waiving the rental fee. Great. That's really nice of them. And that's they're great. really bending and over backwards for us. I mean, they're. Yeah really want to help us out with right. this. So I would prioritize Jarvis, Jarvis. and Carol. Yeah. Those should be, the, I was those should be our first Carol, team. Originally I was thinking of just using, they come in sections, these, mm -hmm. these bridges. I was thinking of just putting one section there for her to walk across. Okay. But if we're doing it, why not make I it think so she can drive if across? You have, I, yeah, I, I, that's, you what, have that's what I would right. say. I mean, it's, Let's it's make it functional for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just do that. Okay. Be great. Um, so that's where I'm going to sort of focus my energy as well as continuing with the filling in the ruts around town. We have a culvert on County Road. Yep. That is going to call for a four foot diameter, diameter pipe. pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you seen? I, I've looked around. I can't find anything like that that's easily accessible at this well, moment. Well, there's one available. Is there? Yeah, I've got prices on it, and I, again, I've sort of been idling a little bit because of FEMA. I don't, yeah. you know, I don't want to fix it all the way. And then if, you know, um, but I feel like that one might be that, one we may just that we just have to, have to we, we might have to bite the bullet on that. After Miss Brandy has told us we have no money. Where was that again? Temporary is what they've said. Yeah. You can lay it in, but make it look temporary. Where was that one again? On the county, county, county road. road. Okay. Yeah. I've By any it. chance, is there a culvert that goes across Cabot Road before you get to the new quarry entrance? You come down, you go all the way up the hill, and you step down that little grade where it levels off right there before you yeah. get to the quarry entrance. Is there a culvert that goes across there? You mean the old quarry entrance or the new, the no, new the one? New. The new one. Uh, yes, I'm sure there's a call. Yeah, because I was coming one. down the Cabot Road today, and right around that section, somebody has dumped a lot of tires. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those have been there. That's those have been there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's going to affect that culvert through there. It certainly isn't going to help yeah, anything. It's not going to help anything, mm -hmm. but we should probably get them just so it doesn't. There's a lot of them. Thank you. The lazy like, uh, it must have fell out of somebody's truck, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Baseball. Baseball. Yeah. Yeah. You're uh, the defender of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but Randy, you said they've been there for a while. They have been there for quite some time. Until after spring cleanup. 
Oh, yeah. They made it up. Yeah. Yeah. Dip, dip in there for a base. It's been great. So I can, I can fit that into at some point. If, 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 if that, I think that that is one of the ones that we just can't. We don't make it look crazy yeah. and beautiful. But I think that's one of the ones that just has to be dealt with. Yeah. Because I've gotten enough calls on yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 tricky, it's, getting, it's, it's tricky there getting through there because it's so narrow. It's only a yeah. foot pipe that we have, and it's washed out twice on us. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and trying to repair, and then so I think we should move that up on the list. Um, I did make calls to get prices for it, and he said it was available. So. I guess I'll pull the trigger on that. Um, I would like you to, and we'll try to find a way to fund it. I just not so, sure exactly how. There's a brandy. question for you, Chris. No, we may have to go for a line of credit. A what? A line of credit. Until, yeah, we'll, until, have until we'll, we'll have to borrow some money yeah. until we can yeah. see about FEMA. Yep. Yeah. Oh, unions willing. They're always willing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I think. Just now, you some point the documentation to sign yeah, something. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm on. I'm on help. Yeah. But I mean, I think that one, are, I think, is sort of unprecedented the circumstances yeah. that we're yeah. in. Yeah. And I think that we sort of still need to be mindful of the money, but we also need to keep our roads safe. I, I don't disagree with you in any way, but I mean, this is a fundamental mm -hmm. safety issue that continues to fail. It's been failing on and mm -hmm. off for a while. Mm -hmm. Keeps getting undercut. It was an undersized pipe to begin with. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Um, is there any sense to taking that? Big culvert out of the ravine up there and reusing it, even though you don't think it should be reused at Jarnus's. It's not big enough, is it? It's really big. Well, it's, it's like six, it's foot. six foot, six or seven foot, and it only calls for a four over there. That would be yeah. the problem with that is it's getting low enough. You'd have to get the because of the size. You can use it over there. Yeah. yeah. Really I'm not saying that we don't want to recover that at oh, some okay. point if we so can. Yeah. If there's a use. It's not, it, but I don't think it's appropriate for the no. Jarnus property. No. Right. And recovering it right now mm -mm. is not, not my priority. Mm -hmm. Not it shouldn't be our it's, priority. Uh, it's not hurting anything. It's right not now. hurting anything. It's, it's doing anything. fine right there. At some point, we should recover it. We can maybe reuse it, but it's not appropriate for Canada Road. Yeah. Right. I don't think. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's another priority on on, on that area. Yeah. Okay. Is that reasonable enough? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I yeah. just wondered if it's no, no. possible. Ms. Diana, I think you have a really good point. That call is valuable. We'll use it. We mm -hmm. can use it. We can reuse it, we can we use it but <laughs> recovering it right now, yeah. I just think that we can yeah. wait on that. Right. We've got a little bit more warm season mm -hmm. before we have okay. to pull it out of there and yeah. use it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to backtrack for a moment. I apologize because Jonah is here again. Sorry. No, no, please, no. I saw you earlier, and yeah, so no, I mentioned this. Um, so uh, I'm just going back to what we talked about a little bit earlier, which is our FEMA reporting and also collecting as much information as we possibly can about um, private damage. Jonah has been willing to be a clearinghouse for us. He has a Google Sheet that he sent to me. Uh, I'm going to ask the select board to review that. I'm going to send it around. Mm -hmm. And um, once we all feel good about it, we're going to make it active. Great. We're going to put it, uh, Skip Lindsay is going to help us put it on the town website. And then that can be the immediate clearinghouse for town issues. That being said, 211 is still where we have to report. I just want to make that as part of public comment. We have to report to 211 for all of those issues. So this is an archive for the town, and we can still use it for FEMA, potentially. Jonas set up something that's really great, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate the help. All right. Um, we're going to just review it as a board, and then we'll make it active. Yeah, I'll and just say for <laughs> without getting deep into the technical pieces of it, the way it, it's set up so that you can you can submit for either public damage, reporting public damage, or private damage. Mm -hmm. And when anybody submits, and if they submit photos, it will create a folder okay. with their full with their photos in it that has the location and their last name as the name of the folder. Wow. So that'll all be organized and then it'll also create a spreadsheet 
with links to those photos with all their information. So it should be pretty simple once it gets rolling. Jonah, thank yeah. you. Mr. Well, will there be like a form that people can fill out and not have to understand Google Docs and all that stuff? It should be. Have a hard time Take a look at it. I tried to keep it simple <laughs> without yeah. too much. There's It asks for a first name, last yeah. name, email. And then there's a drop down menu. Somebody who I, I've only been in Woodbury a few years, I tried to get every road name for the oh, public property. Thanks. So there's a drop down menu uh -huh. for the road names. For private property, you put in your address. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Okay. I tried to keep it pretty simple. And then it's just a description of what the damage and is. And they fill it out um, and then send it to somebody? And or? they hit submit and, hit submit, and it's done. And it submit. Shows up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then okay. it shows up. You know, and I set up a I set up a Woodbury Flood 2023 email so that I can give that login to Robin or to whomever else in the town can own it, and you can have access to all of it. And so, it should, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, hopefully, is is simple. You can fill it out on a phone, you know, phone or laptop or whatever. So. That's wow. awesome, Jonah. Thank you yeah. for Jonah, thank you. That. Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely terrific. Yeah. Yeah, people yeah. keep asking questions. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's and and you'll read the description. I put a description in there, and I also put in the. This is in addition to two one one and a link to two one one, so that people right. hopefully don't get confused that this is like their FEMA. Okay. Application because it's not, but. So if it's not, it, then how did it get to FEMA? That will be independent. Yeah, they, they, sh anybody, On I mean, their own. yeah, okay. it's independent. Yeah, and the state was announcing today that people should be submitting on their own to FEMA, and FEMA has 211 has their own form, and FEMA has their own form, and so this is more for, it's more for the town Today's. to have information, and if you, I don't know what the process is for you all as, as what an official it, what submission. What good does it do the town to have that information? Are we helping people? I don't know, and that's a question well, that's for y'all. Because it's that's, that's, you know, that's, we need to know we have it so that it can be addressed potentially. And then it's been reported to the town. It gets through 211 because I'm getting the report back through 211 that right. I'm going to pass mm -hmm. to you guys mm -hmm. or we do that. Mm -hmm. We need to have this record. What, what you're finding is every layer, all these people come into town are basically uh, establishing thresholds for mm -hmm. FEMA as the damage goes up. Our, the amount of money percentage-wise goes up. So right. you want to keep documents. It's a real pain in the mm -hmm. butt, but that's how it works. It ha we have to document Got this stuff. Document and all because this is where we start. Yeah, yeah they're Jonas. 75 or 90. You know, and I'm certainly right willing, if it, depending on what kind of response we see, if it makes sense to do some kind of reporting drive at the town hall on a weekend someday and have people come in and, you know, have five or six of us yeah. sitting at laptops yeah. and just letting people mm -hmm. tell us what the damage is and mm -hmm. airdrop us pictures they, or whatever. Are they going to be able to use that for maybe to submit to FEMA? People Probably are already not. confused by the two or three I know. or four steps. I know. Well, let's not make it more confusing. Okay, we've this had is multiple layers this is a good, of inspectors. This is a good place to start. Yeah. yeah. It's a good place to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, that, with all right. the photos out there and each road we're having to, to do that for, it makes it, yeah. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. the start of a clearinghouse. So this is particularly Go ahead, for flooding? Because there's this, a lot of events that... This could be, at this point, let's take advantage of it. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, is it is it specific to flooding events, or is it a tree down, is it a tree on a wire, other, other hazards? I think it's that all above, isn't it? We, would, we were thinking about it originally for flooding, but I think all of the above is actually what's most most useful. Well, Once we have a lot what's associated with this disaster. Mm -hmm. Right, but this is a place yeah, I'm totally absolutely. confused. Okay, I'm sorry. At one point, we're saying that it's nothing related to FEMA. Uh, FEMA. It's and not. Now, you're saying that, it, that FEMA's going to use it for their records. Well, so, so just the I'll clear that what they're using it at the state level to set the threshold of damage, how much damage there is. I think that's the only thing the state's using it for. I don't think FEMA gets this information. All right. So you're saying this information I'm a confused too, goes to the town to and to the state and to right. FEMA? At this point? I, they would get it to FEMA, then you get it to your, sorry. It's really, com it's yeah. really complicated. Let me make it totally clear at this moment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the archival information that Jonah is going to collect with this is all for the town. Period. That's it. 
You can stop there. Everything else has to be independently done, either by a homeowner or by the town independently. To 211 or a FEMA. Those are independent. But we need an archive for the town because at some point they're going to come back to us. And this is the archive that we're going to set up. That's so, Alfred. It's that straightforward. We just yeah. need to have yeah, for the town archive. Like I said, there's there are other events that cause safety hazards. That Absolutely. Have nothing to do with water. Yeah. High water, low water, none of that. There's, there's other. I'm I just wondering if it's if it's don't think all this together or if it's just flood related. I don't think we've gone this far yet. We're the, just starting to get this. The going. document that I have created could be then utilized for that in the future. It could be copied and utilized for that in the future, certainly. Yeah. And I'm happy to help with that when the, when the, no, when the time is right. But at this moment, it's set up for the for flood damage. But, it, but really, it's just for residential, right? It's not for... It's no, not no, no, to be no. Made. So the, the way the form is set up, and you'll see it when Chris... Mm -hmm. First questions it. are... <laughs> first question is email, first name, last name, phone number. Are you reporting public or private property? If you're reporting public, it takes you to an area that then has a drop-down menu with every road in Woodbury, and you're reporting on that, or or it's got an other, and then it says if you're reporting other, are you you know are you talking about something you saw at the school or somewhere else, right? So that's one section. If you say private, then it says put in the address mm -hmm. and the description. Okay, so is, is that it. something that the road guys are going to have to do in addition to whatever they're filling out for every incident? They don't have to do anything. Oh. It's for the public. This right? is it's for the public. This is for oh, okay. the public to oh, okay. utilize. So now, if they see their road washed out and it's a town, exactly. road, they can I took a bunch of pictures it. today. I haven't submitted it yet of my road, and I'm going to submit into the... I was waiting to hear if it's going to go live, and then I'll submit my pictures for my road so that the town knows, hey, you know, and then potentially... Alfie can, when he thinks he's done everything, you could go into that spreadsheet and he could say, yeah, I did all these. Oh, wait, I don't know about that one. It's really for us. It's for the town. Yeah, it's for the town. If we use this yeah. beyond that, great. But yeah. this is for us. Yeah. It would also document pictures uh, that maybe you didn't get of the road yes. yeah. earlier. You could so turn into FEMA. That but, you could turn yeah, into yeah. FEMA later, so it would yeah. be really good. And you could certainly, you know, I wouldn't have the road guys do it, but they could give their photos to, you know, I volunteer or the town, you know, if Robin has time, you know, and they, and they could get put into that form so it's all in one place. Mm. But, someone crack that door open, please. Yeah. <coughs> the little children are trying to get in. Are those your kids? I think there's a mixture of kids out there, but some of them are not actually trying to get it. They're just being children. Oh, okay. They're just looking. It's yours and mine, so I think it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> okay. Jonah, I'm sorry to put you on the spot, but. No, no, that you, was why while, I was while, here. While we That's the you, whole reason I, I want came. to take advantage of it. Yeah. Um, yep. Mr. Larrabee, can I jump back to you? Sure. You uh, had on, we had on here. Uh, Sign feet trans uh, our grant agreement. That's something that Robin had for us. Yep. Okay. That's for next year. Okay. Next year's grant agreement. So that's All right. So Michael's so, not filling these out. Uh no, it's going to be on us to get these. I thought away. he would. I thought he already did. No. He looked at them. I don't think he signed them. He just finished the one for okay. this year, I think. Yep. Not for I next think year. this is just something we have to just sign. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> no. Is it okay. Just a letter of intent. It's a letter of intent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a signature. Yep. Okay. okay. To that. Uh, so Valley Lake Culvert Design is also on the list here. So um, there was some correspondence today. Um, uh, coincidentally, uh, Nat from Ruggles Engineering says, "What's up with this?" And Michael responded and said the grant, what he was awarded the contract about a few weeks ago. Whatever happened on the paperwork, we didn't know. So I told him that we did approve it. And well, we had approved it. Uh, huh? Yeah, we had but there's paper it. somewhere that never got sent to him. So, um, so they didn't he sent a there. contract. Okay.
And I also chatted with him about possibly doing some design work for some other long-term box culvert projects. Here's one for you and one for Lizzie. He said, I'm happy to look at the other sites with someone from the town. If you have jobs shovel ready, sometimes special pots of money open up and follow decla following declared disasters, and you can get bumped up. Typically for us to work on these types of small culverts where we design steel culverts or precast, design fees can be held to less than the $6,000 per site. If VTrans can't do the hydraulic study, we add another one or two thousand. I had told him that our limit for having to go out to bid was eight thousand uh, dollars. The big issue right now is availability of precast concrete boxes. Steel pipe jobs have been about four to six weeks. Precast delays are a pre-flood issue. We have three box culverts that all bid last year, and the culverts are just getting made now to install this fall. The recent events will just push timelines out much further, so we've had uh, two jobs that changed to steel pipes versus concrete. So anyway, that's just some up-to-date advice. And <laughs> if we want to get him in line to do the design work. Offer, have you interacted with Nate's car at all? Who was that? Nate Seacard? Oh, Seacard. Uh, some. Rubble's engineer? Yeah, some, but not a lot. Okay. I met him at the, at the, the site visit that we did. That's the only time though, right? Oh. Yeah, and I worked with him when we did the road design over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. He did, uh, yeah, he did that. He did this road design. Work. Yeah, work. I don't know if that ever got done, but yeah, most some of it got of it done. Did. Some of it got okay. done. Yeah. And say, some. Yeah. I would say most. Well, we got to the culprit. Yeah, I wouldn't say most right. So, but it's, it's there. Let's be honest about it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, all right. So that's just something to think about if we want to get some kind of a is, jump is on he, that. Is he open to other options of culverts? Oh, yeah. I mean, I just, I, I only know a little bit, so yeah. that's what I think. Yeah, I mean, I guess as far as we can award him the contract, but I would like to be able to offer other types of culverts. Mm -hmm. I'm not willing to award him a contract. No, just to, look, just to have him look at it. I'm not willing to award him a contract until you guys actually right. go and do site yeah. visits. Right. Okay. So, so this we is have to... The we, Valley Lake project this, is the, this was originally the Valley Lake project. Yes, that, we did award that one. We awarded that one. And okay. I just mentioned to him, by the way, okay. we all suddenly have two more possible box culverts needed. Could you, yes. if you want to take a look? So okay. that one is awarded. Yeah. Yeah. But he's still, he's still going to be flexible of the type of culvert that is. That's my understanding. For this one here? For the Valley Lake. For the Valley Lake. Oh, right. I mean, he gave you two options. What the options a, are. Steel, a steel pipe or concrete box, cast. Concrete cast. Yep. There are still other options on the table, and that's mm -hmm. what I want to oh. uh, um, offer him. I would like that conversation to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> this this uh, wasn't this, it's, this it's, one out here already. Of, we can't get a pipe. We can't get the concrete for another year. Mm -hmm. I want to look at other options because I know they're available. Because right. I don't want this lingering. <laughs> I don't want us having this conversation two years from now, and we still don't have a pipe in the ground. I totally agree. Sort of so I agree. As an engineer, he needs to be open to other, other ideas, options. other options. Yep. He probably knows as much as you. I have no idea what the other options. I'm pretty confident that he he he's a license. So yeah, he uh, probably knows more than me. How unfortunately, he's not on the ground. He's not boots on the ground. That's right. He's in the okay. office. He's in the yeah. office. And. I need not to downgrade anybody in the office. No, no, yeah. the office is fine, and that's great. But um, we need somebody who can actually give him a sense of what's happening on that road system. Yeah. 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 And uh, we did award the contract, but it's still open. Yeah. No, I'm happy to talk to him. Absolutely. All right. So um, I'll do my best to get you two together, okay. just for at least a conversation. I think said. Is that reasonable? Absolutely. Okay. He said, Thank I you. plan to come over in a couple of weeks to acquire another hour or two of field work, since we already have data from road design work in 2020. 
Yeah. So at that point, he should yeah. get in touch with yeah. you. Right. Mm -hmm. And that 2020 data is not helpful anymore. No, none of it? Yeah. Hey, even the survey work? Hmm? Have you seen that section? A road? No. That's <laughs> yeah, a little tougher now. <laughs> Things have changed. Yeah, no, he'll, have yeah. he'll have to. He'll have to. He'll have to review yeah. it pretty significantly. I mean, that's a cut bank section. Mm -hmm. It's failing. Mm -hmm. It's been failing. Yeah. So maybe you can just put a note on there that mm -hmm. for him to reach out to me when he comes for that. Mm -hmm. Yep. That next I would like to be there as well, personally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, yeah. that's right with you. That'd be good. Okay. Okay. I have a question for you, Alfie, about the pipe in the town office. Um, so I understood that the reason it's going to be really hard to fix is because it's broken right where it comes out of the concrete. Um, if somebody from the town were willing to cut into the concrete around it and like jackhammer it out um, to, just to make it more accessible, is that something that you think you could fix without us having to get a contractor? You mean fix the concrete afterward? Uh, fix the pipe and then fix the concrete oh. afterwards, yeah. Um, I'm not sure that we have to smash the concrete out. Okay. We'll have to look at it closer. Uh-huh. Um, because there's, like, the fitting that goes into it is, is a bell end. So if you can break that fitting off of the pipe that goes through the concrete, you could just put a slide another one onto it and uh -huh. not disturb the concrete, which would be... Better. My effort gotcha. would be where I would want to go. Um, I can look at it closer okay, no. before we go too far. I mean, it was, when I looked at it, there was eight, six or seven inches of water in there, and I knew it was effluent, so I didn't jump right into it. <laughs> I don't disagree with your choice. <laughs> I was into it. Ask Brandon. I was into it. So I just, I wasn't really there to fix the pipe. Mm -hmm. I can look at it again and get a better diagnosis. Okay, yeah, I was just curious if there's, you know, if we can limit um, hiring people. Would be yeah, awesome. well, if it's right, I mean, we might not even be able to find somebody. It might be right. Weeks, right? And I yeah. think that's, that is very important because not only for water coming out of the septic tank into the foundation, it's also letting gases into the building. Yeah, the building. Mm -hmm. You walk mm -hmm. into the building and you smell it. It's, so that needs to be sealed one way or another. As soon as possible. Sooner than later. Yep. So I'm I'll sure take a look at that. I think I've been there. I show, I show a lot of that. that. So. <laughs> so back to the subject of the Valley Lake Culvert design. He submitted, he sent a draft uh, contract, which you have in your email. Oh, you should, if you don't have it in your email, does anyone want to review this? Or want me to give it to Michael? Or Give it to Michael. Yeah. I have mine. Okay. I have mine. Yeah. Okay. I'll just put it out there that um, Alfred Larrabee is our town road foreman. He's not our plumber. Right, no, I get that. Right, I he's not our electrician. Mm -hmm. He's our commissioner. Yeah. Road commissioner. He's our road commissioner. Mm -hmm. Right, so there are some things that we do not expect you to be working on, <laughs> and we appreciate it. But sometimes we have to contract that. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. And Alfie, Fair I enough. only mentioned it because it sounded like you'd considered it, not because I expect yeah. you to do stuff like that. Well, it's, it's, it's what I do in my private world. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I, Which is know, great. And we'll it. hire you for that in your private world. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not your job. Okay. okay. You did a lot of roads and things before. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. let's just be careful about. Yeah. But at any rate, oh, I can oh, look out. Or, and, and oh, we would love for you to look at better. We'd love to get some perspective. Yeah. Okay. Let's just let's be careful about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right, we are well past our agenda time, but uh, Shallow Town advertised to hire a part-time temporary clerical person to manage FEMA and other filings. Mr. Hanna, I you put that on the agenda. Flood, re flood related filings. So. Do you want to, Mr. Hanna? You put that on the agenda, so. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think we need to. Okay. Um, we can't. According to Paul, Paul was telling me that other towns have already done that, have Some people have in place. Yeah. Of, Some already have town administrators. Yeah, I know yeah. last time we did this, it's a tremendous load. Were you around for the last one in 11? Yep. It's a lot of work. I was not either. So mm -hmm. unless Robin can do it all or one of you all are going to do it all. 
So and what? It, it is the kind of paperwork that has to be kept up. Like mm. it's timely submittals and <laughs> some recipient reports and so we have to print some money in order to do this, unfortunately. Yep. So I was thinking maybe like um, twenty hours a week, twenty dollars an hour, up to up to twenty hours a week as needed. Work at home with your own computer. Um, you know, because right now the office is kind of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I, said, I, I was saying three months. Paul said probably should be six months. Yeah, as needed. It's just I agree to think about it. It's really going to fall on your all's. It's going to fall on us. Mm -hmm. I haven't sat in your seat before. If you're like me, you don't have the time to do it. I don't. I don't read totally straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, when you were in 2011, who did the FEMA? Um, was I the clerk? I don't know. I might have been. I know we had Ann Linder for a while. She did a whole lot of the. Yes, yeah, she did all the. Yeah. We had Ann, who was really good at this. Yeah. Stuff. We don't have Ann anymore. Yeah, she was. That probably was when Ann was the assistant clerk. So Maybe she was doing all that. Burden, That's why though you still have that box. Oh, it says yeah, have... Irene. Or okay. Was it Irene? So yeah. what so it sounds like we should. What it sounds like we should do is write an ad. For, mm -hmm. for a temp position. Um, we'll work on that mm -hmm. and see about getting it published. Okay, and I'll put a thing out on the clerk and treasurers and see what other towns are. That'd be lovely. Maybe we can oh, good idea. Yep. borrow, That'd be share. Mm -hmm. Share. Mm -hmm. Let's go with share. Let's go with share. Thank you, Ms. Brandy. Um, we're gonna put the personnel policy off for now. Okay. I, I apologize for that, but mm -hmm. that's, that's where we're at. All right. Um, oh, we want to talk about Norman. The, the ones that we moved from here. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to do after. Yeah, we were going to do that. You're right. Okay. Go ahead. Norman, you stuck your no, hand out. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not why I stuck my hand up. So, yeah, I'm all over the thing. No, it, um, obviously, you know, I'm an emergency management director, and I've, I've sent you a note saying I'd be uh, willing to fill that position on a kind of an interim basis for a three month period to help get through this and also to, you know, see if any revisions need to happen on policies and so on. And, Hopefully, get someone else in and get them trained to do the job. That'd be great. I've, I've done the job in the 90s as emergency management director way back when, when Hurricane Floyd hit and everything. That was Floyd. a whole other game. <laughs> and um, yeah. Yeah, federal forms then, too. Yeah. And, and, um, and yeah. You, wrote our, you, you wrote much of that policy. Yeah, I wrote the original uh, plan, emergency mm -hmm. operations plan for Woodbury back then. Mm -hmm. and, um, and Anderson's chain, you know, up there. I haven't seen the new plan yet, but I thought I'd uh, take a look and see what's going on with all this stuff and see where I can best fit in to help out and try to be ready for the next event, which could happen any old time. That's right. So we we'll would be better prepared for it. So uh, we would. if you're interested in appointing me on that basis, I'd be I'll, uh, foolishly willing to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, there are people who are willing to help you as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to make a motion to appoint Morgan as our emergency management coordinator. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you, Norm. Thank you, Norm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now if we can only get a dog catcher. Well, I've got one person that I've talked to that might, um, I'll keep nope. his name quiet yeah. until okay. he decides he wants to actually take that job. But if I can get him in and get him working with Norman. Yeah. That would be wonderful. We'll see. Don't take, I don't know what's okay. going to happen. He may come to his senses. Or um, well, he might be able to splice me right off. <laughs> 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 That's okay by me, by the way. Um, Norm, I, I will, uh, I have your email. I'm going to send you a little bit of documentation. Yeah. If you're willing to take, management director. Yeah. If you're willing to take a look, sign yeah. off. And yeah, then, there's lots of stuff to look at. I have to look at the, the plan that Linda did because yeah. you know, she knows what she's there's, doing. There's a well, revision so. on there. Is that so, a lo local emergency management plan? Yes. Okay, yeah. I know that. And all, whatever else there is. I'll it'll send you take a while to get up to speed. It, it's going to take a minute. Go right ahead and yeah. I'll start trying to fill my brain up with that stuff. <coughs> Thank you so I much. I the EOC on Norman. We showed the, uh, you, I showed well, the, uh, keep putting them on me, so. I'll give it to you. 
And she'll draw in where that big pink binder is, which is, I think, our current plan, although it's really kind of old. Absolutely. And also a, a, a drawer full of stuff left over from Ann Linder that if you're willing to go through it and maybe throw it out, that would be a big help for the clerk's office because they have a lot of stuff that they have to Get rid of. I mean, a lot of that's not Huh? I, I don't have to memorize it. I could just no, just, just scan it. Just scan it and put it in your memory. memory. Is the plan currently approved or is that what you're doing tonight? The plan is approved. Okay, so we're not eligible. Is, it is? It is. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so I, so that's what you're going to send him is this? The approved plan. Okay. That was a just little several page thing. Right? It's short. Yeah. With but that is approved. That was approved. Was approved. But the reason I have my hand raised when we're having that other oh, I'm sorry, sir. was. Um, uh, from what I remember, one of my training when I did all that work before was a good suggestion was at each place where there's an incident to put up a little sign and a number. So when people mm -hmm. take pictures and everything, and especially you're going to have mm -hmm. the public doing that and submitting pictures, if there was a sign at each place with a number, then you know where it is and so on instead of wondering. Mm -hmm. And it helps you keep your record straight and others as well. It helped out a lot of towns when they were doing it like that. Mm -hmm. Might be a little late on some of this because we waited down there. But, yeah. I don't know if we have a lot of houses that have actually been damaged. I'm not talking about houses. Miles, road, miles and miles of road. Miles and miles of sections. Of each section yeah. gets a number. It's, yeah. Yeah. That's how it's complicated. Maybe mm -hmm. this section, then that section, then that section, all on the same road. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was quite mm -hmm. a few houses too on the Great Lake that got yeah, 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 there really there significant damage. Two yeah. 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 yeah, more than two. Have an incident number that one uses, and then you have all that information for that. Mm. Having a, yeah. People describing it differently and um, differently. Yeah. Of course, you've fire. already got E911 and all that whole database. Yeah. It's yeah, not the no. same, huh? No, it's, <laughs> not. it's not the same. Not when there's a hole in the road. No. Nope. <laughs> um, no, thank you. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to backtrack and get that done, but we'll try it. Yeah, well, wherever it makes mm -hmm. sense. At this it's, point. Worth, it's worth it. It's worth a try. To find locations like with a phone, and I don't ever do this, but drop a pin. I know that's something that people do. Like, you go to a place, you drop a pin. Well, hopefully, that's what Jonah's website will help us with. Mm -hmm. cool. Once FEMA comes and you get to get their mission meeting, you'll have a lot better information. Yep. Of what they're looking for now, because oh. it could be different from 12 mm -hmm. or 13 mm -hmm. years ago. Do we have a timeline on when people? I don't know. I haven't heard a thing. Mm. I've only heard I'm anecdotal things. this week, but mm. I've received nothing. No, I haven't received nothing directly. I've heard some odds and ends Every that they're going to be up in this. Every time I moved up the list for our stuff, they just say, there's someone's coming. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And that's all I've gotten so far with my phone calls. Wishes so. and sunshine. Uh, mm. uh, I don't have any answer <clears throat> for timeline. Yeah. Wish I did. Yeah. They said within the month. I don't really We're know what that means. Filling up the airport in Berlin with trailers, so oh. I'll, uh, hopefully someone will show up. Right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, it looked like Berlin Elementary School was filling up pretty good yesterday, too. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. With people, you mean? Or with you know, trucks. With... Oh, really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, there was one other go ahead. thing that was to add to the adjustments. Um... Nichols Pond Dam Road, we haven't had a meeting to discuss what our position is going to be, but in the meantime, there was a flood. So, um, Andrew wrote me this email. Nick, Andrew Meyer. Meyer. Nick brought his excavator up to Nichols Pond Road and fixed some washouts so that some of the guests could get out. The ditching he did on Nichols Pond Dam Road in the past few years helped prevent damage to that road. However, the Nichols Dam has been breached and caused erosion on one side along with the parking lot. Both Hardwick Electric and the association have contacted Ben Green, one of the Vermont Dam Safety Engineers, who will be coming soon to inspect Nichols Dam as well as others. While the dam area is eroded and until it can be repaired, it is likely that the dam area may have to be closed to vehicles. I haven't seen, you've seen how bad it is or? Yeah. yeah is it bad enough to be a safety concern? Um, it definitely needs to get looked at. Yeah. It, did, uh, it did it overtop the dam and it did erode oh. some, yeah. uh, somewhat behind the dam mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, it doesn't look too severe, but I'm not a dam mm -hmm. expert. So anyway, the, what he asked was, uh, while the dam is eroded and until it can be repaired, it is likely the dam area may have to be closed to vehicles. 
Hardwick Electric has a meeting tonight, which I'm sure they will discuss this based on their evaluation. And if they have to close the dam for safety and repairs, we would hope to be able to put a sign at the top gate notifying the public of the situation. Would it be okay? This is the request. After all that, would it be okay to put signage at the top gate if deemed necessary to inform the public? Yes. Okay. So, do you have any more road close signs over there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We throw it up. Yep. Uh, where exactly do they if, want? If needed, it, well, I'll let you know if they will decide. It to seems do like that. it's we're, the, we're waiting on the decision of the. The gate. Uh, of the gate. Like, uh, yeah. 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 yeah they, they may just and, go and, fix and, the dam and be, be done with. And quite frankly, they can throw up a road close sign. Okay. All right. So, yeah, but, well, yeah, I'm, Andrew, I'm that, totally willing. I just need to know where yeah. and when. Yeah. And all okay. That. I'm not going to ask you. Know. What, okay. I, I wasn't going to ask you to do that until Harvick, <laughs> Harvick Electric actually Andrew, figures out what they're going to do. Okay. But we'll communicate over there. Okay. That. Sure. Thank you. Well, that was the only other addition to our agenda. Is yes. that correct? All right. Um, we're putting the Woodbury, well, no, let's uh, go ahead and do the Woodbury Mountain Wilderness. You could have questions for me because I'm going to go home and eat them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Paul? Um, yeah. No. No, thank this, you, thank you for being here. this Woodbury Mountain, that's the backside of Greenwood Lake, That's correct? the backside of Greenwood Lake. Well, I noticed before I came up here, Arlene Tarudi posted some pictures around that area. I just tried to pull them up, but I don't have it access a, here. I got four. It's a massive landslide. It's huge landslide. So. It's huge. I never saw anything like it. There's trees that are this big. Yep. Came down right, on, right on. Well, if you walk down the County Road section, the very first plateau you go to the left, there's a little draw in there. That whole draw came down. It's I never saw anything like wow, it. Wow. Yeah. There's really? a massive pile of trees down yep. there. Is that still possible? The class four section? Oh no, that's chasms down through there. Oh yeah. That class four section is oh. not. That's okay. no. That whole thing is gone. Beyond your house, down to Route yeah, 14. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah, gone. Yeah, the whole way. Half, 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 half a kilometer are gone. Oh, like how? Yeah. No. Yeah. Down there. Yeah. That thing's gone. So this item is we probably premature because they sent around an email saying that the group. Um, no, well, there's a group, some kind of Jeep group. It's a Jeep club. It's a Jeep yeah, club. Jeep group. Yep. Um, I'm a member of the Vermont Jeep Association, working on a plan for a project with the New England Wilderness Trust along Woodbury Mountain Road. There are, and I think he probably means West Woodbury Road. He does. Uh, there are a number of illegal bypasses that riders have created that trespass onto Newt's property, and we're planning to install jack leg style fencing along these tracks and put up signage for both new and ourselves as well as from Tread Lightly, a national organization that tries to improve off-highway vehicle land use. Part of the project is on the road that is in the town of Woodbury and part is in Elmore. So I'm contacting both town offices to let you know about this planned project as well and see if there is any process the town would ask us to go through for this. I, I can't imagine, I mean, except for reminding them that the right-of-way is 49.6 feet or whatever it is. And that's from the center of the road, or that's, a, that's, that's the whole total. That's total. 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 Gotcha. Total. Yeah. yeah. Total right-of-way. I would like to put this on the agenda for next time because I think that the people from West Woodbury have not seen this? No, they wouldn't have anything to do with it, really. It's all well, private property. But I don't, but they're the ones who would access that, most of that. I'd like them to be part of it. It's a public park now. But it yeah, doesn't matter. sure. They're the ones who access it most directly. So I'd like to make that part of not, another it, agenda. This is when you go into the class four portion mm -hmm. of the road. You're talking yeah. the section that the goes woods. from West Woodbury and comes out on County Road, right? That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah, it's called yeah. either West West Slate and Pond West Road, 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 File, so I don't have. I think that we can wait on ARPA. Yeah. Yep. What are your feelings, sir? 
No, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just hurting in general. Just hurting. Mm -hmm. oh, I think we can wait a little while. Okay. Don't, I tweak my back again. Oh, sorry. Does anybody have a problem with that? Mm -hmm. Us waiting on the final yeah, proper okay. distribution? So, Paul? Yeah. I know that Thank we have some things we need to talk about, but I don't think this is the time. Of course. No. Yeah. Oh, and I'm good, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you needed me anymore with all those things. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm, no. If you're on Mill Pond, I just remind you, we're dealing with the Mill Pond. We have, that's the one water source for the uh, fire for protection. For fire protection. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yep. Um, that's a, a long discussion. And really, when I wrote this, I put this on the agenda at the last meeting, things have changed since then. Significantly. So I don't know if we... Yep. Want to talk about this or not? I would rather wait until we have a clearer assessment of okay. what's going on with that. The uh, but dam inspection that I went to like two weeks ago, the guys said that they would send the report sooner rather than later because they knew the owner was waiting for this other program. Yep. Um, and we didn't get it, and then part of the dam fell out. So another inspector was there. Well, one of the same inspectors was there last week when I happened to stop yeah, by. And, uh, this is, I mean, that's changed markedly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Paul, I would like you to be part of that if you're this willing to. This conversation, the yeah. dam project, yes, I absolutely will. Yep. Yeah. So, but I think we're going to have to, we're going to have to wait on that yeah. until we get yeah, another that's, that's inspector's fine. report. I just didn't know if it was on. I just wanted to make sure it, it was, was It's on the agenda, but I, the situation has changed markedly. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. Yep. Got it. All right. Um, but I know that that's an important water source, so just keep that in there. Um, we had local emergency management plan. We have that approved now that we have Norm. Thank you. Um, helping us out. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I would make a motion to move an executive session. Wait. Oh, I just me. want to ask Alfie one question. Yep, please. The Valley Lake curve realignment, is that not going to happen this year because you've suddenly had a few weeks of, of uh, other stuff thrown at you? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Okay. I, 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 would, I would like to continue to move on on the legalities of it so that in case we have a long fall, we could pull it off. Still. Oh, okay. There's still, there's still a chance. Okay. So is it like a two or three week project or? It's probably a three week project. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say it's David was asking about that. Yeah, asking about about did you guys take the land? Did you hold the hearings and actually take the land for that project? We don't, yeah. It's all on the same property. It's we don't have to same. take it. It's all on the same land. We don't okay. have to take it. I just, we went through a nightmare up, up at the end of uh, Corey Road, Corey Road. Remember. So okay. yeah. I would, if, if there's any question at all, I would highly recommend holding yeah. the hearings and doing it. Just so you don't end up with a problem later. In oh, this case, we're we actually okay. in this case we're we're okay. There's okay, still might have to be. Corey Road is oh, it, well. Corey Road the contains the Corey Road oh, contains the yeah, nightmare. Yeah. nightmare. <laughs> so no, the landowner is very He's, cooperative. So it's because it's on the yeah. same lot. They're saying you don't need to do. It. Well, I think there still might need to be a legal transfer of right of way. That's what somebody told me. I don't right. know whether who right. it was. Well, I but. sent you guys the list of their concerns. Oh right. Yep. Yeah. And so we there just want to go through that. And and very simple. But they're all reasonable. Yes. They they're want, all very reasonable. They want, um, it was, they want us to pay for the Forester to, right. re, to remap their property mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it changes their land use. Their land use. Mm -hmm. yep. um, not by a ton. Not by a ton. Mm -hmm. And there was one other, one other bigger one. Anyway, it's, it was like it, it was, was all it was fairly reasonable. A, the lawyer had to do, and yeah. they provided an estimate for the lawyer. It was like five hundred dollars. Mm, that's not bad. I, I I see that the benefit of having this road changed is far outweighs all of those things. things. Yeah. So I yeah. think it's just you know, the board has to go over those those requests and just check them off as they get done. Yeah, we can and do that next what we I think we should do that in two weeks. David to be yeah. Mainly it's just approved or we, that the yeah. town will pay for those right. expenses. Yeah, right. like official deed and right of way transfer must be recorded. Town of Woodbury shall pay for any related expenses, including assistance by the landowner's attorney. Cost estimates would be presented to the town. Um, 
cut cleared hardwood into log lengths and store in a mutually agreeable location. Yeah, that was the conversation that I had with yeah. them. I'm absolutely willing. I don't to. think any yeah. of that is actually really <laughs> difficult. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they're being very reasonable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll put this on, leave this on for next week. We're going to have to leave that on for next week. Come and we can go through But after we review it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yes. Let's look at it again. I've reviewed it, so. But we'll through it one by it. one and they can explain. I did review okay. it, but yeah. I would like to review it again. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. All right. Before. So. Okay, can I get you to sign this? This is for them to come in. Um, Make sure our elevator down there is working properly. This is the erosion pump. Ah. Uh, that's a, that's a down there. Is that just the annual maintenance mm -hmm. plan, or is that something extra because of the flood? Is it just Chris or all of us just saying? No, I believe it's just, just Chris. Chris. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so okay, we're yeah. 75. That's something we can do right here. We'll have to jam and wash some of that stuff out. Um, and it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but uh, it's not. Right. Let's see what it is. It's fairly away from the dam, though. Yeah, the dam is just there. You know, the tracks there, the hardwood for electric came in, we contacted them for that gate at the end of the spillway. That was holding water back. Thank you so much. All right, so it is now 7.30. Right. I'd like a motion to move into executive session. All those in favor? Aye. All right, Woodbury Select Board is in executive session as of 6.30 p.m. on July 17th.